what can you do with extra 300,000 Naira every month? Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts. I'll pop up. Okay, yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make 300,000 Naira every month from the comfort of your home by just selling people's products all right so mind you this is not affiliate marketing this is not cpa marketing this is not any of that this is like a fresh business model that can make you up to 200 to 300,000 naira every month all right so you have to pay attention to this video i have to make sure to watch it from now from the beginning to the end all right i want to welcome those that are joining us for the first time welcome to learn with us too Yes, on this channel, I'm going to show you how to start, how to grow, and how to scale your online business with little or no capital whatsoever. Okay, guys, so the business model I'm about to share with you now is called e-com arbitrage, all right? It simply means you find hot selling products online, you mark up the price, and then you resell for profit, all right? I'm going to show you how you can automate these things and do it right from the comfort of your home without having to do anything else. All you just have to do is just place phone calls and the money just keeps coming in, all right? I did this in a week time and I already closed in some good number of sales here. Yeah, this is amazing. So you have to watch this video to the end and always make sure, you know, to share to your friends and, you know, preach the gospel. Let's go. Okay guys, so before I show you, before I dive into show you how this e-com arbitrage business works, business that can make you at least 200, 300,000 Naira as a beginner when you start it, I want to show you proof that this works. Like, I mean, this is a business that I know people already that are making over 50 million Naira to 100 million Naira every year with this e-com arbitrage. Before I jump into the details, let me show you proof that this works. So I'm going to show you my chart with my exchange guy in Ghana. And as you can see, this is this is a, a deposit that he made to me, 840 Ghana cities, and this just happened under six days. All right, I'm going to show you how this works. It's simple income arbitrage, which means you pick a product. When you pick a product, you add a markup to the price, then you resell for profit. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Okay, so before we jump right in, please subscribe to my youtube channel please as you can see we are just starting out we are just at 120 subscribers and I, I can't wait to get to 1k subscribers so please subscribe to my channel and you know watch my videos i already made a video on paper i made a video on um dollar arbitrage and all of that please watch this video and subscribe okay so let's jump right into it okay so this system uh, as i explained to you earlier is called eco arbitrage it's simply picking a product, adding a markup, and reselling for profit. So, and I've broken down this system into three separate parts. You know, I've broken down into three separate parts so that I can help you understand. You know, I want to help you understand very clearly. All right, so the first part is to pick a product. All right, so how do you identify what to sell? How do you know what to sell? How do you know, the, how do you know a hot selling product? Okay, it's just simple research. So all you have to do is just go by your laptop, you know, you can just do a simple search, just do a simple Google search, a simple Google search, you can do hot selling e com niches. Alright? So when you say hot selling e com niches, you can just simply, you know, pick a blog post and read through. But let me show you this. Let me show you what works for me. Alright? So these are the niches that I know have performs any time. Like you see health niche, health niche works very well. You know, you see um, babies niches, like niches to sell baby clothes, baby shoes, baby toys. Those niches are also hot selling niches. Niches like gadgets too hot, uh, sells very well. Security niches also sell very, very well. Security gadgets, spy cameras, you know, security cameras. You know, all of that those things sell very well now how do you identify these things okay so there's this product called product mafia so you head over to your uh, to your browser product mafia this is another platform that can help you identify hot selling products okay so you just go to this it has a free and a paid plan so for the free plan you can see little content you can see little the products to sell but for the paid plan you can also see some real good product as you can see the prices and you can see the markup all right 
you can see the prices and you can see the markup. Let me just go over to this particular project and show you. Show you, okay? Okay, so as you can see, this is the cost price for this particular product. It's the, the cost price is eleven point ninety nine dollars, and the selling price is thirty nine point ninety nine dollars, and the profit margin is thirty eight dollars. All right, but like this platform, you are not going to do. You are just going to identify the product on this platform. All right, you are all, you are all going to sell these things locally, so we don't need to confuse dollar with Ghana cities. You understand? But we are going to just use this pro use this platform to identify these products. Okay. Another way I, I identify my products is to stay on stay on top of um, trends, Instagram trends. Okay. So I have a couple of pages that I'm following on Instagram that shows me what Instagram products to sell. Okay. As you can see, these are products that you can pick and sell. All right. So when you identify these products, when you identify these needs, this post need, this product it could be health, it could be security, it could be babies, niches. When you identify these products, the next thing you can do is just outsource these products locally. Okay. So let me close these tabs. So you outsource these products locally. So when you, what you, how you can outsource this product locally is you simply come to GG. All right. So if you are selling to Nigerian audience, you just go to gg.ng. But for the sake of this, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be focusing on Ghana. All right. The test I ran, I ran it on Ghana audience, and it was awesome. The, the competition there was super little. The market is not saturated, so it was really awesome. The results were authentic, and I loved it. So I thought share you the Ghana strategy. Okay. So just go over to. Ghana and gg.gh, all right, and I've identified the product, I've made all my research, I've identified the product I want to sell, now I want to outsource these products locally, okay, so you head over to gg.ghana, then you search for the product, so I'm going to use a blender for this instance, so I'm going to search for silver crest blender, all right, so I'm going to search for silver crest blender, Okay, so these are these are all silver crest blender. So based on my research, I already know what I want. I just go straight to what I want and I pick it. You know, so it's best to always make sure to pick the best price. All right, because you can see some people are even selling at four fifty. People are selling this Ghana crest, uh, this uh, silver crest for four fifty, and some people are still selling at two fifty. You can see the markup, and these guys are selling. Yeah, people are buying. People are buying. You understand so you, you just have to sell you just have to sell so when you pick when you research the offer and you, you are sourced it on gg let me just pick a particular offer okay let me just look for the cheapest okay, look for the cheapest there so i think this is going to be the cheapest 220 Ghana cities. so all right so I, like, this is the offer i want to sell i've seen it on gg what i can do now is to check out the seller's review Okay, just so I don't run into fraud or I don't run into unserious um, suppliers. So I'm going to check out their review. This guy doesn't have any review yet. I think I have to go back. I have to go back. That's why he's selling very cheap. You don't get review. All right, so I'm going to look for somebody that has at least enough review to convince me to actually do business with them. So I'll look for. Let me check out this guy. This guy doesn't have a review also. Doesn't have a review also. Just just hold on. We're going to find somebody that has it's very important to buy from a seller that has good feedback. It's very important to buy from a seller that has good feedback. So it at least it can reduce you the chances of trying testing and trying. You don't want to lose money testing something. Okay, so I, mean, I always make sure to find very good reviews. So over you over to the review, you can have to see their reviews. So you go over to view all, you know, so you check out their reviews, are they good enough? It was nice working with her, my item came on time as expected, she's nice but the review was on point. So as you can see, you just go through all the reviews and if you are convinced enough, you contact the seller. Alright, if you are convinced enough to do business with this person, you contact the seller. So you can just go over to call, take the number here and place a call over to the seller. All you have to do is when you want when you when you are trying to call their numbers, all you have to do is just remove the zero 
that is in front of the number and just add plus two three three plus two three three that's the Ghana dial code when you add this number you give them a call you know just so you reduce your costs your your cost of you know getting all these materials ready what i do is when i jump on a call with these guys what i do is i just quickly just introduce myself hi um, my name is Austin. i like your product i saw your advert on gg and i want to buy i want to uh, like i want to buy like three or two or well, how much are you going to give me what's the best price i need to give me this product but we add we add you with again and maybe we can arrive at 200 ghana cities then i can now tell the buyer okay yeah i'm going to buy even more all right i'm going to buy like two now but i'm going to even buy more so are you going to give me discount if i even buy more you know we have all this conversation we have all this agreement and when we settle at the price when we settle at the price I, I lock this up. I know that okay, I've got a supplier and I've got a product. So I'm going to, for the sake of this video, I'm going to do this thing together. I'm going to write this guy now as 250 for the product. So we've identified a product which is Crest Blender, and I'm going to put it down 250 Ghana CDs. Okay. So for me personally, I like to sell with incentive. I like to sell with bonus. It makes my offer even more valuable. So even if I shoot it at 1,000 Ghana cities, people will buy. All right. So I like to shoot my product offer. I, want, I like to shoot my offer value so high. So what I do is I find similar offers like this that are selling for even a cheaper price. Okay. So I just go over to Ghana and um, still go over to GG. Still go over to gg.com.gh and I, I can search for probably any portable, portable juicer. All right okay so so okay so yeah so you see this kind of cheaper offers this this guy is selling his own at 55 ghana cities all right so i'm going to open this guy still go still go through the same procedure i went through with the other product so like i'm going to check the reviews confirm that yeah this is a good offer for me so i'll go by this guy doesn't have any review so that guy doesn't have any reviews. I'll just find a good review and a good price. A good review and a good price. I don't know why people that sell cheap things don't have reviews. I don't know why. Okay, so I'll just find I'll just find a very good review. Okay, yeah, this guy has 25 feedbacks. So I'll just go over to the feedback. Okay, so he has 25 positive feedback. 25 positive feedback. I don't even have to read them. This is enough proof for me. So I'll just go back. Do the same thing I did with the uh, portable press blender. I'll make I'll place a call to to this lady that is selling this product. Okay, so when I place a call, I just hello after bargaining, after agreeing on the price, I just tell her I'm going to chat her on WhatsApp. So I just add her to my WhatsApp number and we start talking from there. All right. So we are going to say well, let's assume we agreed on a price for this incentive at. 50 Ghana cities. I know I can buy this at 50 Ghana cities. I know I can buy this at 50 Ghana cities. Let's agree, I'm going to get this at 50 Ghana cities. So I just add 50 Ghana cities to my list. So now I have a total of 300 Ghana cities for the product. All right. Remember, we are still going to add other expenses like, like delivery. We are still going to add other expenses as um, traffic ad money. All right. But don't worry. At the end of the day, I'm going to still make enough profit to keep the business running. Remember, I'm going to show you how I'm, I'm showing you. I'm going to show you how to make extra 300 to even 400, 500, any amount of money you want to make, depending on how much you can manage or scale this business. All right. So now we have a 300 dollar, 300 Ghana cities product. All right. So we're going to add other expenses to it. Now, what I do is I have a I have a delivery company that remember I broke this this border into three parts number one is to identify your product number two is to identify your traffic method number three is to identify how you have to distribute these products all right um funny thing is it's intertwined so you have to identify i have to confirm with the distribution company first before you have to focus on the traffic all right because at the end of the day if you have your product and you have your traffic ready if you are not ready for delivery there is still no profit there is still no sales 
okay so your product and your delivery company all should be on standby before you start to run those ads okay so what i do is when i have the products i've done all my calculation i've done all my markup for this case we have a 300 uh, ghana city products 300 ghana city products then we have um say 20 ghana city for traffic so we are saying let's say we are spending 20 dollars to sell a product or let's say we are sending we are spending 50 dollar 50 ghana ghana city to sell a product okay so then we are doing 50 ghana cities to deliver a product so that means we have 50 250 ghana cities for the products we have 50, um, um, 50 ghana cities for the incentive we have 50 ghana cities for the ads and we have 50 ghana cities for the delivery that's a lot of money all right so that means we have 50 50 50 150 plus 2 that's 400 ghana cities so we're already spending 400 Ghana CDs on just the value for the offer. Okay, now how much do you think is best to add as a markup for this price offer? All right, so for me, I like to do anything above 200 Ghana CDs. Like, I don't like to do anything less. Okay, so me, I do 200. So that is going to be 600 Ghana CDs. So at the end of the day, we are going to have 400 Ghana CDs for the product. 200 Ghana cities for the markup. So that's 600 Ghana cities. So let me ask you this question now. If you are the person that saw this offer, let me go back to this page. So if you are the person, if you are the person that saw this offer at 450, let me show you. I saw an offer at 450. I saw that Ghana uh, this thing at 450. So if you're the person that saw that offer at 450 and you now saw this other offer at 600, plus an incentive, which would you go for? Which would you go for? As you can see, it's, it's the answer is just obvious, it's just there. It's just there. I'll go for 600 because I'm getting free delivery, I'm getting an incentive worth over 100 Ghana CDs. And I'm still getting my actual product, all right? So when you pack all these values into the offer, the next thing you can do is to set up a sales page for this offer, okay? So how do you set up a sales page for this offer? You just go over to um, Facebook Ad Library, all right? Now, for all, those of us that have not done this business before, that does not know how to write copies, I don't even know how to, I don't even know what the copy, I don't even know what the sales page is. This is how you're going to do it. Not to, to not to stress yourself too much. So when you go out to this Facebook, uh, Facebook, the, the link is going to be on the description video. All right. So it's called Facebook Ads Library. All right. So when you go over to Facebook Ads Library, all you have to do is just search for search for the product you are, you are looking for. So I already did the search here and the Silver Crest Blender. So you go over the search the ad results here and see what people are doing already. Just look at what people are doing already. See how people are selling it. As you can see on this page, a lot of people are selling via WhatsApp. You see? A lot of people are selling via WhatsApp. This guy is selling on Instagram. This guy is selling on Instagram. Let's check him out. Okay. As you can see, this guy is selling on Instagram. You see? He's selling on Instagram. So like I said, you can sell anyhow you want to sell. There's no strictness. This is marketing. Marketing is freestyling. You can do whatever works for you. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it with sales pages. Okay? Remember, I skipped the part of the belief. All right, so now we have the product. You know, we, we, 